Hey guys, what's up? Myself Swapnil Srivastu and today in this video, I gonna show you how you can run Windows program and games on your Android device. So previously I shown you how you can run Windows operating system on your Android device. So in my previous video, you can check it out. I use Limbo PC Simulator and Boost PC Simulator for Android. So in that, in those video, you can see the speed of the Windows is not as much fast to use any Windows program and games. So in this video, I gonna show you how you can run Windows programs and games at a native speed for any regular basis uses. So in this video, I gonna an app called Crossover. So there is not any remote controlling way in this method. So you can check it on the uh, at the end of the video. I don't use any remote controlling app or like SplaceShot or TeamViewer. So you just need an Android device and you don't need any uh, uh, PC or any net connection and a high net connection for uh, remote controlling. So in this video, I gonna use an app called Crossover. So many of you using Linux uh, Linux operating system may have aware about an app called uh, Wine. So Wine is an app that uses on a Linux operating system to run Windows uh, Windows software and games on the Linux platform. So the that same community created an app called Crossover. So Crossover is an app that you can use to run Windows programs and games on your Android device. So in this video, I gonna show you how you can download the Crossover and uh, configure it for uh, running windows uh, softwares on games on android device so by using crossover you can run gta 4 gta San Andreas, or many other pc games that you may not able to run on uh, those virtual ma machines that i shown in my previous video so let's see let's jump to the video so here i gonna show you how you can download it so go to the your favorite browser and go to the google.com and search there for the crossover apk download so you can see there it is so for the first website that is blown up here is you can see the www.apkmail.com so click on it so please uh, watch at the end of the video, I gonna so, uh, tell you what is the minimum requirement for uh, running this app on your Android device. So firstly download it from here, you can see uh, here is a download APK, you can see there is a newer version available below. So you can also download the latest version, here it is the October uh, 13, 2016. So you can download this APK and install it. So let me show you, I already did it. Uh, I installed that application on my Android device. So let me open it. So basically it's not creating a virtual machine that run Windows operating system. It's just creating a virtual environment, uh, Windows runtime environment. So that runtime envir uh, environment can be used to run any Windows software on your Android device. So there is not any virtual machine. So it speeds of a uh, speed of a program is going so much fast that you can use uh, it easily like, let me show you uh, here you can see I installed a half-life 2 uh, Oracle VM virtual box Q manager Mozilla Firefox steam So let me open anyone so go to the start and here you can see here so much options there uh, Go to the programs. So in this uh, in this option programs here you can see all the programs that you install in this uh, crossover ap application so you can see I installed the Bose APK uh, sorry, both software for a computer and Half Life 2, Java, Oracle Virtual Box, Q Manager, Steam, uh, Mozilla Firefox. Let me open Mozilla Firefox to show you. So you can see it's running as like that. It's running the any computer. So here you can also see that it has uh, support for net connection. So you can see. Let me go to the Google.com. Here it is. So you can see it's connecting. So the main benefit of this app, it has the support for internet connection and a sound too. So you can see it's open the google.com. Here you can see, uh, here you can search anything and suffer any uh, website. So let me close it. So let me show from where you can download uh, software for running on it. So you can see here an option for install applications. So click on it and click uh, on this tick bar and click on here. So here you will see all the software that you can run on this crossover application. So let me know you that uh, you can also run many other uh, software or games that is not listed in this list. Uh, you can download it from your browser and from there you can put it in your SD card and after putting in SD card go to the start and go to the built in tools and go to the, your computer and uh, let me I will show you how you can do it. So you can see what is the software you can download from here from the directory to the app 
so here you can see there is lots of a uh, lot of the options you can see there is nvidia physics x you can download it from here uh, there are so many others like uh, alien vs predator game xcom enemy with any enemy unknown you can see here it is uh, you can also see the microsoft for pc 2003 also available here here you can also see that here is an uh, hitman contract so you can also run hitman contract game that you are using on your computer on your android device so there is not using any remote controlling app you don't need to have a high internet connection that is uh, needed to connect it all time to run that game so in this uh, using this app you can run uh, ultimately any time without using any net connection so let me slide down show you how, what you can run here you can see gabriel knight 2 stalker uh, here you can see there is an option of medal of honor so here i can also see the microsoft powerpoint 2003 so you can also install microsoft office 2012 uh, and the latest version that you want to run uh, here you can see there is a tom uh, tom Clancy splinter cell uh, you can see it's, this list is very long you just go on to slide down slide down and that is not going to end uh, let me slide down to last to show you how long it is oh sorry you can see it's sliding down sliding down sliding down it's not going to end so you can see here is also the list of the softwares and games that can be run on this app here you can see the gunslinger tom rider 2013 the lit uh, the best of the time rider that i ever played so you can run all these things on your android device using this application or uh, let me tell you one more thing that uh, any software or games that is not listed here uh, it also can be uh, runnable on this app so you can download it using your browser so let me show you can download using any your favorite browser and put in your SD card uh, let me show you mm. go to the internal storage let me show you I download some of the software sub windows you, here you can see here is a winrod.ixc so this is an executable program that is only run on the windows operating system and this app can run this type of the uh, uh, softwares on your android device here here you can see the half-life 2 from here i installed the half-life 2 in my crossover application so there is a lot of options that you can use in this crossover application so let me open one more thing like uh, here you can see I opened the QM manager oh sorry I gonna to use start go to the program and go to the QM manager and go to the QM manager you can see I just click on the QM manager so it's gonna on you can see it's running very smoothly as normally uh, windows run uh, there is not any problem in running it you can see the the speed of the software that is going to run on android device you can see i can also go to the full screen mode uh, let me show you installing any app which one to do go to the winzip let me install winzip so you can see i just click on the winzip installation and it is start downloading so you can see start downloading so it may take some time depending on your internet connection so let me back when this download will complete to show you how it's work so guys now you can see the download process is completed so you can see it's been zipped so just let me select on the setup so you can see the installation process is started so let me just uncheck it and click on the continue and you can see it click on the next click on the I accept the license agreement click on the next uh, here you can see I the destination folder is C program files PNG click on the next and click on the next uh, click on the next uh, click on the next click on the next so you can see the speed of the program is pretty much fast and you can use this app for using windows software at a regular usage so you can see here it is uh, let me select 
next next and you can see just ending of the installation process and you can see here winzip icon is created on my desktop so finish click on the next so you can see use evolution version click on the next uh, close so this is the winzip software that you are using in your computer and now you can use it on your android device by using the crossover so there are so many software that you can install using this app here you can see uh, there is a microsoft office 2017 uh, 2007 microsoft office 2010 uh, let me uncheck from here and you will see a lot of options from here so you can check it here is the list is so much long i need some time to open that list so you can find the gta 4, uh, 4 from here and if you want to install or run any other uh, software or game that is not listed here you can just simply download it from uh, your browser and put in your sd card and go to the start and go to the built-in tools go to the file explorer and here you will see go to the my computer click here and select the keyboard slide down click on the next and here you can see all the internal storage file all the sd card files you will find here so you can just uh, go to your directory where you put it the your windows software and game and click on the next and click on the open and that will start op uh, running so this is the app that i want to i wanted to show you uh, let me tell you about the, what is the requirement that you need to run this app so firstly you have an android phone which have intel based operating system uh, intel based processor so you can use this app only on those smartphones which has intel processor like gen phone 2 or many other chromebook that having intel processor so for those who wanted to run on your uh, any non based intel proce uh, processor smartphone it's not possible so it's uh, this app is in a beta project and it's only support intel processor right now so you can run this app only on the intel based uh, sub uh, smartphones so for those who are interested to run uh, windows game, uh, games like gta 4 gta 5 on the non intel uh, uh, smartphone i will show you uh, next video uh, in which i gonna show you how you can run uh, windows games like gta 4 gta 5 on any smartphone like uh, uh, having uh, like having Qualcomm Snapdragon or MediaTek processor or any type of processor you can that uh, you can watch uh, you will watch that video so thanks for watching and if you find this helpful so please click on the like button and for any questions uh, please comment down below and one more thing guys please subscribe to my youtube channel uh, let me close it firstly click on the start click on the quit so thank you guys for watching my video have a good day good luck bye take care